Let's take a look at how we can set up our eShare screen sharing software that comes incorporated on the Android side of the TouchView panel. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do first and foremost is make sure that you get your panel connected to a network. So how do I do that? Well, I'm gonna come over here to my little sidebar tool and I'm gonna select this little uh, nut icon that we have right there. So that's going to allow me to pull that up and now I could go and choose whether I'm connecting to a wireless network or an ethernet network if I choose to. So again, um, I have mine set up to my wireless network here at my studio. So keep in mind that with our eShare software, your, your device that you wanted to screen share to the panel is gonna have to be on the same network that the panel is currently connected to. So now that I have my panel set up to the right network, I'm gonna launch this little uh, Wi-Fi icon right there and that's gonna take me into the eShare application. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you launch into this and you're getting it set up for the first time is there's some setup uh, items that you're gonna to wanna to do. So over here on the corner, I'm gonna select this little gear cog wheel. So that's gonna take us to our settings screen. So this is where you can name your panel, uh, what, how to identify it. So I have mine set up as Studio One. Uh, typically in schools, they'll maybe name it by classroom location or in a business setting, maybe by conference room location. Uh, the next thing you can do is go ahead and uh, create a either device name or I can also make it so that I have to have a pin code. So if I choose maybe a six digit pin code, now you're gonna see that in order to go ahead and log in and screen share to my panel, uh, I'm gonna have to type in that identifying pin code to be able to utilize that. Uh, I can always have this code refresh. I could disable it or I can have it maybe uh, launch a new code every 10 minutes, 30 minutes, every hour, or every day with that. So I have mine just set to 10 minutes right now. So after 10 minutes, you'll see that code revolve and change with that. So I can also uh, disable that floating code. So if I don't want that code to be present, I can always disable that as well. Uh, multiple screens. Our software now allows you to share up to nine devices on the screen at any one time. So that could be whether it's an Android device, a PC, a Mac, a Chromebook, an iPhone, doesn't matter what it is. I can have up to nine devices showing simultaneously on the screen. And that's really up to you whether you wanna disable that feature, uh, maybe only have two screens or four screens to be able to show. Uh, I just by default have mine set to all nine screens. Uh, I can choose to show the device name on the screen so when it connects, I can see which student is connecting. It's kind of a nice feature. Uh, and then if once something connects, I can choose to have it go into auto full screen mode or uh, not. I'd have mine set to not be able to do that. And then I can also be able to connect via AirPlay. So if I choose to use the AirPlay, I can make that visible on Apple devices also. Now, another setting you're gonna to wanna to set up as well, depending on your environment, if I choose this little people icon down here, that's my moderator control. So you as the teacher or the presenter, uh, you're gonna be able to choose whether you wanna give permissions. So uh, if all are allowed in a conference room setting, for example, it's not gonna require permissions to be able to go ahead and share your screen. In a classroom setting, typically, I'm gonna leave this in need authorization. So that's gonna give the teacher the ability to either accept or reject a student casting their device directly to the panel. Uh, and then also I can have that floating moderator button. And what that is, is you'll see off to the side, once a device connects in, uh, I'll have a little people icon, and that's gonna give me that moderator control to be able to pick and choose and have some other settings within that moderator control. The last icon here that we'll look at is being able to uh, display in group settings. So again, I can uh, enable that, I can make it valid for screen sharing, or I can disable that feature. I always leave mine enabled with that. So on your particular vice that you wanna screen share, I do recommend that you go ahead and launch a browser and go to eshare.app. It's gonna take you to that website where you can download our client sharing software, regardless of what operating system. You'll see all of them populate there, again, whether you're a Mac user, a PC user, a Chromebook, just select that, go ahead and install it. It's a pretty small download. You can install that sender application directly on your device. So I have my laptop here in the studio, for example. I have that eShare app installed on my laptop. And now because I have the set to pin code mode, it's asking me to go ahead and type in that six digit code. So if I type that in, 147536, now it's gonna allow me to go ahead and input that and I can go ahead and say, hey, I wanna go ahead and share my screen or I can mirror the contents of what's on my TouchView panel 
out to my device if I choose to. So that's great if you have students with Chromebooks, for example, and you wanna have the content of your panel be cast out to their device. So in this particular mode, I'm gonna go ahead and say I wanna share my screen. Now remember, I have that set up in that permissions mode, so that's gonna allow me to either accept or reject uh, someone casting their device directly to this. So now I have that wireless screen sharing connected. I can set that device off to the side. And if I'm screen sharing with a PC or a MacBook, uh, I'm also gonna have that full touch control capability over that. So that's a great way to be able to pull up any kind of presentation and just wirelessly screen share it directly to the panel. So maybe I wanna connect another device in, maybe just an Android tablet. So I have that eShare application installed. You can also find the eShare app on the Google Play Store or the iOS Store as well. Just type in eShare uh, and you'll find that application and you can install it that way. So again, same thing. I'm gonna have to type in uh, that code. So 147536. And now I can choose to connect. And now it's gonna go ahead and ask me to give me that permissions mode. So I'll go ahead and allow that. And now I can go ahead and start casting my tablet directly to the panel. I can go in and launch a browser or any kind of content. Maybe I took some pictures that I wanna be able to share with my class. Down here in the corner, you'll see a couple of features where I can enable or disable audio so that that follows. Uh, I can choose to take it full screen. I can minimize it back down, or maybe I wanna close out of that particular device and I just wanna X out of that. So then I can come back over to my laptop uh, and then the same thing, I be, can be able to take that full screen if I choose to uh, minimize that back down. A couple other features that I have is I can enable and disable touch control. So if I don't wanna have somebody that has touch control uh, over a device, uh, I can disable that as well. I can also pull up a keyboard directly on that device. So again, if I'm not at my laptop, uh, I can pull up a keyboard and be able to type in a different URL address in this case uh, and be able to have access to that also. So now that I have a couple of devices connected, that's where that moderator control was coming into play that I was speaking about. So this little icon that I have over here off to the side uh, that I'm moving around, if I go ahead and expand that, that's going to show me all the connected devices. So again, this is where I can enable or disable touch. Uh, I can choose to go ahead and disconnect that device, but it, meanwhile, it's still connected. So if I wanna have my laptop uh, wirelessly screen shared again, I can just go ahead and select that little up arrow icon, and now my laptop's connected. And then if I wanna disconnect that device completely from being uh, enabled on my panel, I can hit that little break the chain feature there, and that's just gonna disconnect that device and just dump it off of my network here on my panel. So that's a pretty cool way to be able to use that moderator control. If I have a lot of students that are connected with their devices, I can just come over and be able to pick and choose which students' devices I wanna have cast up to the panel and maybe set some administrative rights on what they can control and what they can't control. So instead of sharing my contents on my laptop directly to the panel, maybe I wanna put it into what we call TV mirror mode, which is gonna allow me to cast what's on my touch view panel out to my device. So within uh, my screen here, I have a couple of options where again, I can share my screen or I can go ahead and choose to TV mirror. So if I go ahead and choose that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna load uh, kind of the desktop of my panel here and cast that directly out to my laptop. So again, not sure if you can uh, see this properly on camera, but now whatever is on my touch view panel is now cast out to my laptop with that. So again, if I'd be able to go in here and pull up my pen tool uh, and be able to annotate, mark up and highlight any kind of content, that content is also going to show up directly on my laptop with that. Uh, I can also have touch control with my device. So if I want to be able to pull up a pen tool or be able to launch a sidebar tool, I can do that remotely uh, and be able to pull up a pen tool and be able to mark up anything. So that's a great way to be able to go ahead, uh, maybe mark up and annotate, uh, highlight anything from the back of the classroom, teach from the back of the classroom in this TV mirror mode to where I can have full functionality without actually being here at the panel. And anything that's cast out to the panel is going to be cast directly to my laptop, my tablet, my Chromebook, whatever that might be. So that's a way to be able to use that TV mirror mode. And again, if I wanna just go ahead and disconnect any devices with that, uh, I could just go back to my moderator control. Uh, if I don't wanna have somebody be able to mark anything up, again, I could go ahead and just disable that touch and then that student wouldn't be able to mark up on the panel or have any kind of control over that. So I'll just go ahead and break these links here uh, and just go ahead and disconnect all these devices. 
So that's a pretty much a full-fledged feature set overview of the eShare software. Just make sure you get it set up on your network properly and go ahead and take that time to do some of these settings features that we just went through uh, and you'll be screen sharing your content in no time.